So, uh, Hell Divers 2 went from very positive uh, to mixed. It just went down to mixed. Yesterday was like 80,000, now it's 91,000 reviews. It's going down. The game is going down. Many people are frustrated right now because they cannot play the game uh, because of loading screen and because there's a limit capacity of 450,000 players. Ho! Oh, 40 bucks to stare at a black screen. Beside the never-ending queue, infinite black screen, non-existing quick play, loading in and immediately get kicked by party. I'd say it's pretty a good game. Get kicked by the party. Really? Well, why do you re recommend it, though? <laughs> One of the best multiplayer games I've played in a long time. It's action-packed, strategic, and adrenaline-inducing. Uh, I think it's better than the original. You might have a hard time in the early levels because many things still need to be unlocked. There's also a learning curve, which is even greater. If you've never played the original, but it's worth... It's worth it to go through it this early effort because the game is amazing. However, until people can actually play it, I'm going to leave a negative review. Hopefully, the issue can be solved soon or at least improved to a playable state. Servers are non-existent, haven't been able to play for days. Oh, the guy, the guy haven't played for days, bro. This is sick. Best 30 minutes of gameplay I've had in my life. Hope some someday I get to play at least an hour. <laughs> And he gives a thumbs up, really? Wow, he just got to play 30 minutes. Holy shit. In th <laughs> this is sick. Fun game, but wait till it, till it ain't buggy mess. Kill. Fun game if you get past the queue. <laughs> wow. The, this game is an absolute blast to play if you can play it. It, if you can play it, the issue is actually getting into the game, spending hours on the loading screen or server at, uh, at max capacity. Oh my god, this is so sad, man. This is very sad. That is very sad. Bought the game, opened the game, server at max capacity. I'm like, fine, I'll come back later. Now getting black screen, didn't even play the game yet. Tried every solution on internet, nothing works. Well, it's not. there's no solution. The only solution is the dev. The devs needs to fix it. So, I don't know if they will be able to fix it. Holy shit. Product received. You will actually spend 30 minutes to manually open and close the game to get past a black screen. To get the privilege to wait in the in the server at capacity line where you will wait another 30 minutes to get in. That is if the timer doesn't disappear and you don't crash. Only then you will be able to play the game that makes you feel it was worth it. Because it is... This game is fantastic, and I could see it's winning game, uh, it winning game of the year. But it needs to fix this. Yesterday, it will. Uh, it, I will change my recommendation when this change. Steam says I have eight hours. That is wrong. I may have maybe two hours of gameplay. Lol. The six hours are from the waiting from the black screen to go away. The initial start up or stuck on the title screen to log in. Paid forty dollar for a game that won't boot up. Yeah. That is very sad. Do not buy this game until it works, which it doesn't. It's $50 loading screen at this point. Yep. Black screen. And it goes on, guys. It, the, wow, it's yeah, a lot of negative reviews. A lot of negative reviews. There are some people who are happy, but the people who are happy is mainly because you know they get to play. But what about the 3.6 million people who purchased the game? And I'm not even counting the new players who bought the game. But about them, 3.6 million people cannot play the game, bro. For days, but not just one day, not two days, three days they couldn't play. They can't play the game. This is sick. I have never seen this in my 30... I've been playing games for 30 years, guys. I've, ne <laughs> I've never seen something so ridiculous.